At the beginning of July month, the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation reported the foiling of an attempt to recruit a pilot of the Russian Air Force by Ukrainian special services to hijack a Tu-22M3 long-range bomber. The FSB's Public Relations Center said in an official statement that they had managed to thwart the operation, which included the participation of special services of NATO countries. The statement on the FSB website said that Ukrainian intelligence tried to recruit a Russian military pilot, offering him a cash reward and Italian citizenship. The purpose of the recruitment was to fly and land the bomber on Ukraine's territory. The Federal Security Service stressed that counterintelligence was able to obtain information that allowed them to inflict fire damage on the AFU airfield Ozonoye. In the summer of 2022, the FSB also reported preventing a similar operation of Ukrainian intelligence services. At that time, Ukrainian military intelligence tried to recruit Air Force pilots for monetary rewards and guarantees of citizenship in a European Union country. The operations were part of broader actions aimed at seizing Russian military equipment. The Rossiya 24 TV channel also reported on Ukrainian spies' plans to obtain Russian aircraft. They were particularly interested in Su-24, Su-34, and Tu-22 M3 strategic bomber aircraft. However, neither new documents nor a name change guarantees the Russian defectors a happy and peaceful life wherever they are. In February of this year, the defector Maxim Kosminov was killed by unknown assailants in Spain. He was famous for hijacking a MI-8 attack helicopter to Ukraine and shooting his own crew who tried to stop him. Now, do you think Russia is like old Soviet Union where people would like to escape to the West? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting topics every day. Please like, share and subscribe for more such stories in the future.